Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing three low carb keto friendly recipes that I've been making using this brand new kitchen gadget that I am completely obsessed with and that is the Ninja Foodie. So basically what it is is it's a pressure cooker and an air fryer in one. So yeah, it's pretty much a game changer. And by the way, I will say off top that this video is not sponsored. I've just really been using it a lot lately and testing a lot of recipes in it and I'm loving it. So I figured I'd share some with you guys. So if you've never heard of pressure cooking or air frying, then first of all, where have you been? Because it is like the biggest thing right now. But second of all, you've got to get on board because pressure cooking can cut your cooking time in half and even sometimes up to 75%. And air frying allows you to get that real crispy finish um, without frying your food in oil, which is gonna save on a lot of excess calories. So I love pressure cooking and I love air frying. It is so amazing. But what I love about the Ninja Foodie is it's like a one pot system. So you can actually pressure cook something and then finish it off with a crispy finish with the air fryer all in one pot. So it makes for easy cleanup. And of course, with the Ninja Foodie, you can pressure cook, you can slow cook, you can bake, you can roast, you can steam, you can air fry. There's so many things that you can do with it and that's probably why I've been playing with it all month because I'm just testing all sorts of recipes and I'm just, I'm just loving it. So the three recipes that I'm gonna share with you today are gonna be my crispy garlic parmesan chicken wings and let me tell you, these are so, so good. You've got to try them. I'm also gonna share my low carb chicken enchilada soup recipe, as well as my crispy cheesy kale chips. And I say cheesy because we're not using real cheese on the kale chips, but the kale chips are a perfect low carb snack, especially if you're craving something that's kind of crispy, you know, and you don't want to go for chips. Well, obviously, if you're on a keto diet, you don't go for chips. So this is sort of a replacement to give you that extra crispy and that extra crunch. But anyway, if you have a pressure cooker or if you have a Ninja Foodie or an air fryer and you have some delicious recipes that you want to share with me, believe me, I'm all about it right now and I'm just having fun testing all these recipes. So be sure to share yours below because I will give it a try. All right, let's jump right in. The first recipe I'm sharing is my crispy garlic parmesan chicken wings. So I'm gonna start by adding some organic wings that have already been seasoned with sea salt and pepper to my pressure cooking pot. Then I'm gonna add in some chicken broth and this is really gonna help to keep the wings moist while they're cooking. Let's go ahead and put on the pressure cooking lid. Be sure to turn the knob on top to the seal position and let's pressure cook it for about nine to 10 minutes on high. Now while the wings are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and prepare the garlic Parmesan glaze, starting with some melted organic butter, organic Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, onion powder, minced garlic, dried parsley, and some sea salt and pepper. Go ahead and mix that all together. And as always, all of these recipes in the video will be on my blog, so I'll link that for y'all in the description box below. Okay, once the wings are done, we're gonna do a quick release and turn the knob on top to the vent position, but you don't wanna open the lid until the red pin drops. Okay, let's take out the wings and empty the liquid from the pot. We're gonna add this rack to the pot, which came with the Ninja Foodie. Let's place the wings onto the rack and we're gonna brush it generously with the garlic Parmesan glaze. And of course, this is what's gonna make the wings extra crispy and it's gonna give it a lot of flavor. All right, let's close the air frying lid. We're gonna choose the broil option and broil it for about eight to 10 minutes or you know, until it reaches your desired crispiness. And that is it. These wings turned out so good. They were very moist on the inside but still had that little crispiness on the outside. If you love chicken wings, you've got to try these. And next up, we're gonna make my cheesy kale chips. So I'm gonna start by adding some avocado oil to my bowl of kale, along with a little bit of nutritional yeast, and of course, some sea salt and pepper. Let's mix that really well. You definitely wanna use your hands to make sure that you massage that oil into the kale. And by the way, you can use olive oil or coconut oil. You don't have to use avocado oil. And the nutritional yeast, if you've never heard of it, that's what's gonna give it the cheesy flavor. Once that's done, I'm gonna add the air frying basket that came with my Ninja Foodie to the pot. We're gonna place the kale chips inside and lower the air frying lid. Let's air fry it at 370 degrees Fahrenheit for about seven to nine minutes. And halfway through, I do like to shake the basket around a little bit just to make sure that all the kale chips get crunchy. And they are done. Y'all, these came out so tasty and so crunchy. I'm very pleased with the end result. And they're really just a great, easy, delicious way to get in some extra greens. 
And the last recipe is my low carb chicken enchilada soup. First, we're gonna make the liquid base. So I'm gonna add some melted coconut oil to a saucepan over medium heat, along with some coconut flour. And I'm gonna whisk that together until all the lumps are gone. Then I'm gonna add one whole can of full fat coconut milk. Now I like to add the cream and the liquid, but you can just add the cream if you want a thicker soup consistency. Let's add in some chicken broth, and you're gonna wanna bring this to a slight boil and then remove it from the stovetop. For the spices, I'm gonna add some chili powder, cumin, paprika, Italian seasoning, and of course, some sea salt and pepper. Let's go ahead and mix that together and then we're gonna set the liquid aside. In the pressure cooking pot, I'm gonna add two organic chicken breasts, some chopped purple onion, chopped bell pepper, and a can of organic diced tomatoes. I'm also gonna add in some minced garlic. Then we're gonna pour the liquid into the pot, secure the pressure cooking lid, and make sure the knob is in the sealed position. We're gonna pressure cook it on high for 10 minutes. And once the soup was done, I've gone ahead and shredded the chicken breast with a fork, so I'm gonna place that back into the pot. Be sure to give it a good stir, mix everything together, and it's ready to go. This is one of my favorite soup recipes during the fall and winter months. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And by the way, I know a lot of people are starting to buy these pressure cookers and these air fryers, the Ninja Foodies and things like that. So, you know, they're kind of lost with how to make healthy recipes with it, other than the recipes that come with the book that comes with the system. So if you want me to make more healthy recipes using a pressure cooker and an air fryer, then be sure to comment below and let me know. If I get a lot of comments, I'll definitely start making more videos like this. All right, if you have haven't subscribed and you enjoy healthy recipes like this and healthy lifestyle advice then be sure to subscribe below and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!